Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 368. That is, what is sad path testing? Let me answer. So, what is sad path testing? Sad path testing is also known as unhappy path testing. Okay, both are same guys. Unhappy path testing and sad path testing, both are same. Here, how do we perform sad path testing or unhappy path testing? While testing, we'll enter invalid inputs. Okay, intentionally while testing, we are providing invalid inputs. For example, there is a login page. The login page has username and password. Into that username and password fields, we enter invalid email address. Into the password field, we enter invalid password and click on the login button. What will happen? A negative outcome will come. We will not be able to log in. If the application is still allowing us to log in, that means there is a defect in the application. There is a bug in the application. But generally what happens, guys? When you enter invalid credentials and click on the login button, okay, the application should not allow us to log in. This kind of testing is known as sad path testing, okay, which is an opposite of the happy path testing, guys. In happy path testing, what we do? In happy path testing, we provide valid known credentials, okay, the things that are going to work, okay. We are definitely going to log in such kind of uh, credentials. You provide valid username, valid password, which you already know. We'll enter into the uh, login page and click on the login button and you will get a positive outcome. You should get a positive outcome. That kind of testing, okay? That kind of testing, the test cases. Such kind of test cases are called as happy path test cases. And uh, if you are executing such kind of happy path test cases, that is called as happy path testing. And the test cases which are inv uh, involved with, okay, intentional invalid inputs with a negative outcomes are known as, okay, are known as unhappy path test cases and testing them are called as testing those kind of test cases which cover the unhappy paths are called as unhappy path testing or you can also call it as sad path testing so hope guys you understood what is sad path testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye